Fire Saturday in East Price Hill is having a devastating effect. But in Cincinnati, we are all neighbors, even if we don't live next door. Brad Underwood joins us from East Price Hill with proof of that. Brad. Well, good evening, Paul. Yeah, 44 people, mostly children, had to get out of this burning apartment building behind me pretty fast on Saturday. Many of them lost everything. But now, thanks to strangers, this restart for all of those families is going to be a little less scary. Inside Iron Sharpens Iron Gym, Alex Harbin is making sure he gets everything out of his clients. In a world that can be uh, disconnected and stifling and negative, we're on a mission to bring people together. But that mission extends beyond fitness for Harbin, his team, and the people who come to work out. I knew that the community we have here uh, would respond, so and, and we've, we've gotten a good response so far. After seeing what happened over the weekend in East Price Hill, Harbin put out the call for help on Facebook, asking for blankets and hygiene items for the residents. In less than a day, the table inside the gym is already full and overflowing. We've already raised hundreds of dollars in cash. We have so many different items. We have a, I put out one table thinking that would be enough room. It's already had to move down to the floor. I'm going to have to get out another table. Harbin doesn't know a single person at the apartment complex. There's no third party connections either. He says that doesn't matter. Helping people when they need it most is the only reason we need to do something kind. When people are going through tough times, I think that sometimes that's just the most basic level that humans can connect to one another because we all go through tough times. Uh, you can still drop off some items uh, at the gym. It's on Montgomery Road in Norwood, just north of the lateral. And at some point Wednesday, they haven't finalized the details, the folks at the gym are going to bring all those items to the Holy Family School, which is just down the street from the apartment uh, complex here where that fire happened because they are helping a majority of those families impacted here. Reporting live tonight in East Price Hill, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. Paula. That's nice. Thank you, Brad. And fire investigators say that a child playing with a lighter started the fire. No one was hurt. All right.